there, I'm Big Alias. And uh, I think there's a break in the storm from where I live, so I'm actually able to talk without the wind blowing through my microphone. What I'm trying to say is that I, I wish I could record audio without being blown all the time. Uh, so this is Tomb Raider. <laughs> I want to talk about this game. I, I want to say something, man. Um, I think that one style, one genre of gaming that has, has kind of been a little underappreciated on this generation of, uh, of consoles, which I consider to be one of the worst of all time. Um, one th sort of genre that has been slightly underappreciated is adventure games. And I, I really feel like that, you know, these are things that could be incredible. These are things that really slot into the system perfectly. I mean, FPSs look great. Uh, RPGs and stuff like that look great. But Cinematic, you know, th th this console does one thing better than, you know, any console before it, and that's guaranteed, is cinematic quality, you know, you know, graphical whatever bollocks. And I think that adventure games fit into that so perfectly. There's such a shame that we, we're not really... I mean, you know, we've had God of War and we've got Spider-Man on the PS4 and stuff like that, and uh, Monster Hunter World, so we have had quite a bit this year. But Monster Hunter World's more of an RPG. But I do feel as though we've got a long time without having a decent one. So, as a fan of Tomb Raider, as Tomb Raider is an adventure game, and I do love my adventure games, um, I loved the first one, and I thought Rise was a perfect sequel, a beautiful progression, and uh, fantastic narratively, character-wise, graphically it was incredible. Is this... Is this a worthy successor? Is this... Is this worthy of the title of best in the series or anything like that? Is this worth praising? Is it worth getting because it is just a campaign? Fuck yeah! Fucking yes! Oh, oh my god, yes! Yes it is! Of course it is! Look at it! The first thing you notice about this game is that it looks unbelievable. It looks incredible. I'm going to try not to just splurge all over this game and then pick up my load off the floor and then put it back into a box and then re-present it to you as a flower garden. I have no idea what I'm talking about. This game looks incredible and it is incredible. It's exactly the kind of game we need right now, but not the game that we deserve. That was a bit of a Batman reference. I, I don't know if I went too quiet then, but I said not the game that we deserve. Um, <laughs> it's so good, man. Um, but yeah, so firstly, the first thing you're going to notice, as you can see right now, is it looks unbelievably stunning. It's an incredible looking game. I know there are a lot of um, concerns with things like screenshots and the E3 presentation that maybe it doesn't look as good as Rise. It looks so much better than Rise. It is an incredible looking game. And that is a big part. Oh, and also there's a photographer mode, like there isn't uh, Spider-Man and God of War and stuff like that. That is my new favorite mode in, in video games, just all together. The things you can do with that, you can make some incredible looking screenshots. And um, so yeah, I did mention that there was a game, you know, that this was the game that I was switching between this and Blackout, and I wanted to play this. Uh, when I did my Blackout review, I was talking about how I wanted to play this um, while I was playing Blackout. And that's because it, there's just so much to this. It's such a beautiful game. And I think that that is an important part, and especially when you compare it to Blackout, you know, with this gaming season coming up, you've got things like this, Red Dead Redemption, Spider-Man, PS4, and then Blackout. But I, I'm done talking about that game. Um, so yeah, so there's so much to it. And I think one thing that this game really does very well is demonstrate just how impactful and important cinematic quality and graphical quality and just the level of attention to detail and b a beautiful graphic system beautiful stunning engine it proves just how effective these things can be because the experience i had playing this game was incredible it was fantastic especially compared to a lot of games that i played in my time i mean far cry 5 came out earlier this year and i loved it but you know i had just had so much so much of a better time with this game everything that you see is so varied and um there's just so much depth to it and you know during this um tomb that i'm doing right now this is just a challenge tomb um i ran into a camp and she talks about how this was an abandoned camp from the, you know, the 19th century of old old explorers. And you've got their skeleton there with a couple of arrows in. So you, you go, oh, so they, obviously they were shot by, who were they shot by? And that leads me on to my next part. You know, don't, do not, do not, <laughs> honestly, watch or read any other reviews. And I'm not just trying to squash out the competition. Um, you know, I've seen several reviews that spoil a huge part of this game and the way they reveal it in the game completely switches up the narrative, but it's done in an incredible, incredible way. And 
You do not want that experience to be spoiled for you. Not to mention the fact that the GameSpot review is the worst review I've ever seen in my entire life. It's terrible. And in that review, they talk about how there aren't enough changes to the gameplay. And though, you know, this game does feel very similar to Rise. Obviously, there's a lot more presentation to it. It feels better. But it does feel like a different beast. It feels very similar, very familiar, but at the same time, it's regressed in a way where it does feel better. And those new gameplay nuances, sticking against the walls feels fucking great. And just in general, the, co the combat feels the best it ever has. Um, it's one of the best, next to Metal Gear Solid 5, probably my favorite, new favorite stealth system of any game. Just the way that it flows so beautiful, beautifully. If you want combat that flows beautifully, just flows together in an incredible way then this is definitely the game for you um i will say one issue that i do have is that there, there isn't enough combat i don't think in this game you will spend most of your time par um, doing parkour exploring discovering things once you completed the game right now i'm going through and i'm doing the challenge tombs um but i do think that the progression from game to game has been stunning from tomb raider to rise of the tomb raider to this has just been incredibly incredible from a narrative standpoint from a gameplay standpoint from a graphical standpoint everything just gently progresses just as it should the way that Lara's eyes dip in moments of chaos and the way that she has to deal with so much weight on her shoulders and holds it in and they do a lot with facial animation in this game that's just incredible and uh, on that line the the voice acting is stunning um, Camilla Luddington did an incredible job. Uh, Jonah, I can't remember the name of the dude who voices Jonah. Fantastic. The rest of the voice acting in the game, not so good, but those two are, are awesome together. Um, it's not perfect. No game's perfect, apart from Halo 3. One big issue that I have is that um, it tells you how many tombs you've beat, but there's no way of telling which tombs you've beat. So now I'm going back, um, back and playing it again uh, to beat the tomb. No, I'm going back into the world to beat the tombs, and I don't know which ones to do, so I'm just going to have to do all of them, unless I you know remember having done one of them the world the hub uh, is probably the biggest issue with this game in that it gets a little it, i just don't really care for the hub um and i didn't really want to be there as much as i wanted to be out there you know traversing through the world um and some of the side mission stories is kind of lame um but some of them are great some of the stories that they tell are great but some of that stuff can be a little lame also the climbing as you're going to see in this sometimes does fuck up i think i don't know how but rock climbing seems worse than it's ever been um and it does mess up sometimes and ruin like suspenseful and, and large grandiose moments but just as an experience man it is phenomenal honestly you have to play this game uh, i would say that the only the only thing stopping this from being the game's best game that i played this year is i played god of war this year and god of war was unbelievably tremendous um but yeah i would definitely recommend this game um for all its faults it also it is just a campaign experience um there will be dlc down the line there's no multiplayer or anything like that but i really don't think that a game like this needs that i'm glad that they were able to focus on the single player so if you played it let me know what you think if you haven't then you should definitely give it a try and i will see you later